This might just be the worst actual build in Elden Ring. Thorn Sorceries. They do self-damage every time you cast them, self-bleed build up every time you cast them, and most importantly, I could pay off my mortgage in the time it takes to cast this spell, and I don't even own a house. But what do you get for all of these downsides? Well, you get pitiful blood loss buildup, terrible range, and mediocre damage at best. So, I want to beat the game with a thorn sorcery themed build. I'm only allowed to deal damage with the two thorn sorceries that are in the game, and since they fit the theme while not trivializing the challenge, I can also use the staff bonk with the thorny staff of the guilty and the roll damage from the thorn filled briar armor. The goal is to beat as many main bosses as I can. Make sure to subscribe to not miss runs like this in the future and follow me on Twitch to watch live. For this run, since I need both intelligence and faith, the wretch is the best starting pick because it has a total of 20 in those stats at only level one. Then to start the run, I gather the physic, both Dectus medallions, Radigan's sword seal in case I ever need a little bit of extra strength or dex. Then I pick up the main staff that I'll be using for the early game, the meteorite staff. It has the best sorcery scaling out of all staffs until I can get later game upgrades materials and intelligence levels and i gather the two fingers heirloom in case i need extra faith at any point the first and only spell available right now briars of sin and to get it i bait this fire breathing machine into killing this one specific thorn sorcerer in liernia and i get a guaranteed drop of briars of sin i grab the intelligence tier and the faith tier along with america's scar seal to reach the stat requirements of 18 int for the staff and 24 faith for the spell finally it's time to go fight margit I didn't strafe that? At least it's got good poise. Bang. Do I have time here? No. <laughs> Back roll. Jesus Christ. Okay, this should be able to get two, I think. Okay, it technically did. Okay, I think we gotta go for that. Back roll. Back roll. He does the follow up. One. Two. Good. Can I get him to follow up on this? I I don't think so. The light roll makes avoiding the um now the the three move sword move. That move is normally a super bit to dodge, but with light roll, it's a lot easier. We got plenty of health, I believe. I need the time though. That's the important bit. I gotta fuck. I gotta risk it though. Oh, penis. Like we're we're just running out of time. No, I wasn't close enough. Back roll. Back roll. I'm out. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. There, there is another solution here. Okay, hold on. Plus three faith and I need 24. It's not super far off. I actually only need two more levels. Okay. There we go. Good. I thought I I thought I was so far ahead I wasn't concerned in the slightest that I was gonna get hit there. I deserve to die. Thank you. See you later there, big dog. Thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. They're a World War II multiplayer shooter with a strong focus on historical authenticity, while still keeping the gameplay dynamic and fresh. Enlisted is cross-platform on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and last generation consoles as well. Enlisted has large-scale combat with dozens of soldiers, vehicles ranging from light to heavy, and aviation. There's hundreds of firearms and specialized weapons within the game, from common infantry rifles to weapons that were only prototypes in real life. My favorite part about the game, though, is the historical authenticity. I never enjoyed history class in school, but when I can learn about history while also having fun playing a game, 
it's much more enjoyable. Download Enlisted today for free using my link in the description to get a free bonus of three days of premium and several orders of troops and weapons. So where are my punish windows? I didn't roll that? I, there's no way this is enough time, right? Okay, got kind of lucky, I think. Okay, this seems like a, a pretty consistent window. Okay, the, the downtime after the third is crazy. You can, you can roll out a two really fast. You cannot roll out a three. Rolls. I go for one, cause that's all I got. Get up here. One, two. Can I follow this up? I think so. Very nice. Love to see it. Back roll. Go for the blue. Oh, he's really just loving this move. Hey, I'll take it, dude. <laughs> if you just want to keep spamming the one move that I can really exploit, I'll take it, bro. All right. There we go. Let's go see how Red Dog is. Because I'm, I'm concerned that Red Dog might literally be, like, impossible with this spell. We might need the other spell. Let's see, buddy. Well, he walked into it. Can I, like... Oh! I can kind of strafe that. Christ. That's our best damage window, and it's still that sketchy. He got stuck on that fucking lamp. Oh Jesus. Um Yeah, let's let's go let's go give Radon a try. Do I have time on this? Jesus. Fuck me, dude. Do I have time on the ground slam? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Do I have time after this move? No. I'm running into a problem here because I need to kill another shard bearer to progress into lane Dell, but both of my options, Radon and Red Wolf, are really difficult because of how fast they are. It seems like Red Wolf is going to be easier, but I'm still going to need to make my build a little bit better. Staff of the Guilty, even though it will have lower sorcery scaling than the Meteorite Staff, it doesn't matter because I will still get the passive 20% boost to Thorn Sorceries by putting Staff of the Guilty in my offhand, and still casting the spells with the meteorite staff. 179. Okay. That's nice. Very good. Love to see it. I don't think I can do this. Well, I got away with it. You take those. I would like some jumping. I can't do this. Oh! You dude. This is so bad. Like avoiding this damage is so difficult. Oh, 
What? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thank Jesus. My God. Okay, let's go. Let's go see how this goes. Ow. Okay, let's go see how this goes in a moment. So we just got to fucking poise through it. Oh my God, dude. The health. Oh no. Redon it is. I can't punish the slam. I can get in here and do that though. Very nice. Get behind him. I can probably do three. Okay, can't do three. Got lucky. Can't do three though. We'll go get some more FP in a second. This seems to be going well. One, two. Jump. Thank you. One, two. I couldn't see. I also maybe was still in cooldown. I'm not sure. Can't go for two because I'm going to die. I can't do this either. All right. Um. Oh, wait. That gave him a bleed. Wait, 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 wait. I might have the FP. Please jump. One. I definitely am going to need to get another bleed proc if I want to stand a chance, which is probably unlikely. But I will shoot the shot anyway. Okay. So it's good to know we can't punish the four move. Let's go get one extra FP flask. I think we got it. Jump. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely need at least one more bleed proc. I might need two, honestly. I know you have moves that I... Oh, my God. That I can punish. Can you please use them? That wasn't so hard, was it? This is unfortunate spacing. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, give me the bleed. I'm risking it. Because I need to. I need to go for the risky moves here. was so difficult jesus christ since i have a new talisman pouch for killing my second shard bearer i pick up the blessed dew talisman using this teleporting chest in the weeping peninsula this talisman heals three hp per second and i'm hoping that it somewhat counteracts the self damage that these spells do let's see
Um. Oh! Can I? This seems to be working much better than I would expect it to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm not gonna have the range on that. I'm not seeing anything here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we could parry him. Really? I thought I could strafe all the way around that. I don't know why I'm quitting out here. Because of how slow these spells are, I'm just not able to find damage windows against faster bosses. So I had the idea to use parries, since they don't do damage, I'm allowed to use them, and they theoretically should give me damage windows. Unfortunately, they didn't turn out to be as useful as I thought. Okay. What the fuck? I'm sorry, you're supposed to have some more downtime here, brother. Yo, what the fuck? I thought it was gonna be the... the stagger animation. The same as the one that, uh, that you get when you break his stance. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't know if this plan will work. But I have another plan. Okay. Now let's see if we can beat this dude's ass. I don't know if we can. I don't know if I'm gonna have windows. But I'm gonna try. Penis. Hmm. I was really hoping I could strafe that. Let's try parrying him, because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to naturally find windows. I really don't like this idea. But there is another way into Lane Dell. <laughs> we have to take out double gargoyles and Fia's champions. Aight. Love to see it. Excuse you. Rude. All right, time to bully myself. As you do. Come here. <laughs> Surprised I didn't get hit on the first one. Yeah. So this is also not possible. Okay. Yeah, the, the bleed buildup didn't happen as fast as I would have expected. So, I think we should go level, level the staff. This run, we're going to give the, the runaway strat a try. <laughs> Right? Man. <laughs> this is gonna be something. Okay, let's see. Can I get two off? I bet I can get two. Do it doing three is risky business. I 
I have a combo strat. You guys ready for this? Okay, you ready? We do. We do the cast. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Then we two hand this. And then we get the bleed proc. And then after we get the bleed proc, we run away. All right. Uh, hello? My controller DC. What was that? Defunct. Now that I'm in lane Dell, I can gather all bricks set, which boosts my thorn sorceries by 5% per piece, except for the legs piece, which does nothing. I also go to the Eastern Minor Erd Tree in Lyernia to gather the Lightning, Holy, and Magic Shroud and Crack Tears. It may not look like it, but these thorn sorceries actually do magic damage. Oh boy. So are we just going to have to accept occasional trades? I think so. What? That's stupid. Fuck me, okay. I guess I always need to roll to the left because I'm never, I'm never actually getting a clean damage window there. That's fine. Yo, what? <laughs> How is that hitting me? How did I dodge it? I didn't think I had the time. I should bait this out. Get this move. Damn. Damn. Okay. Bang, bang. One. Two. Okay. Can I punish this? Definitely not. Okay, I'll take that. I think it's RNG, whether or not I, I get punished from it, but worst case scenario, it's a trade, and I think that's fine. I didn't think I was close enough, but hold on. That's okay. That's definitely a punish window. That's unfortunate. Thank you. Finally, with access to Mountaintop of the Giants, I can get a new spell and add a little bit of range to the build. Briars of Punishment is very similar to Briars of Sin, except instead of attacking directly next to the player character, it actually travels forward like a projectile before doing damage. Now, I have a feeling Briars of Sin is actually going to be 
more useful here. But let's just take a look at Briars of Punishment. Did 566. I'm not sure if it hit the weak spot. I want to be closer towards the Achilles. That's how I, I get contact with the weak spot. I'm pretty sure I, I definitely don't have enough FP here. Yeah, there's no way I have enough FP. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, this doesn't count. I'm so stupid. What are you doing? Jesus. Cool. I can do three here, right? Yeah. Damn. Didn't get the second to connect. I really need to see the bleed proc. If you don't mind. Move! Oh my god! Why are you standing still? I mean... We can always bust out the bonking stick, I guess. damage going big we're doing it for the bleed buildup right i mean we gotta be getting close there's no way that we're not close to a bleed I don't think Briars of Punishment is going to make this much more reasonable, if I'm being honest with you. But we're going to have to get through Renala eventually, because she has the staff that I want. Yo, who's singing? I don't like singing. Bit okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, there goes the bleed. Ow, 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 God, what the fuck? I mean, this is not the worst thing ever. It's also not amazing. Okay, that's not awful. Okay, that's one. 
The bleeds are very important. Damn. Stupid. You are not supposed to attack me here. Unfortunate. Go grab some sleep pots. Um, okay, let's buy those. Let's buy those. Let's go see if it's enough. I think it's too high. Well, it went poorly. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can clap up skinny. Oh, fuck. Uh, I did not mean to wake up fatty. Keeping skinny asleep? Oh, uh, that's the wrong fucking thing. Um. Keeping skinny asleep and just burning through fatty? Skinny has woken up, but that's fine. Should I throw a sleep pot at Fatty too? I think so. Cause we kind of got to go somewhat fast. What is he doing? Yo, what was that? Okay, I mean, I guess I can just wait for him to roll again and go for Briars of Sin. It's an option. Okay, doing good. Cool. Yeah, so really don't want to phase transition him, but... I'm fine with getting a little bit of damage in. And then I hope I can sleep him here. Cool. Okay. Very nice. Oh! There we go. I'm now late game enough to the point where I can get a staff with higher sorcery scaling than the meteorite staff. But before I can do that, I have to get manhandled by a flying doll. Do I jump over there right now I don't think so what the fuck given my intelligence level of about 40 the best sorcery scaling I could get was with the academy glintstone staff this required me to complete Topes's quest by gathering the key from Rhea Lucaria giving it to Topes and looting the staff from his dead body along the way I also picked up Azure's staff since it gives a passive buff to casting speed and I might need that buff instead of the staff of the guilty for faster enemies in the future all right let's see does this reach Keep fucking praying until it hits him. Alright, sick start. <laughs> that is the one move that I can think of to actually punish. Uh, but maybe we need to rotate behind him. Sir? I need you to go for the slash. Well, not that. Uh, the sweep? Maybe this? 
can kind of, well, that was a lucky hit. Wasn't supposed to work, but it did. Okay. Now that's a real damage window right there. You don't seem to be participating here, brother. That's not going to work either. Just gonna grind it down. Get there eventually. What am I healing there for? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not sure I have the health, honestly. I think I should go get more red flasks. I think we're gonna waste time here. Come on, where's the bleed? I believe. Give me a little bit of bleed action. Okay. Alright, let's go get, uh, try to get briar armor. Probably unsuccessfully. I remember having literally zero windows with briars of sin. So, I was hoping that briars of punishment opened up some windows and it kind of has okay I didn't this is surprising I gotta be honest this is this is really not how I expected this to go Sanity check myself. Malekith has high resistances. But I... I thought it was a lot higher than that. Might make more sense... If I could wear more... Wear the whole set. It scales better when you wear the whole set. Alright. There we go. Can I? I don't think so. Yeah, no shot. Going for a Briars of Sin right there is, is risky. Because if he does the follow-up, I'm fucked for sure. Cool. Now, what about Briars of Punishment? Didn't even consider this. He tends to be a little bit passive. Okay. That is until you actually attack him. So that's good to know. Goddamn screecher, dude. Fuck. Well, that's not ideal. Who needs healing? Just don't get hit. Bleed, baby. What a sad state of affairs. Okay. That's good damage. Shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us. 
It's a solid opening. Okay. Fortunately, Gideon is not a bit on this run. Alright, level this all the way up. I think it is Karya Mano time. How did that miss? Excuse me. Draconic Tree Sentinel was a pain in the ass. But Loretta is not. Cool. At this point, I need to complete three quest lines to progress. First, Sullivus is to get the magic scorpion charm. Unfortunately, since I already killed Gideon and Nofeli, I made this harder on myself than it needed to be, making it so I had to complete Dung Eater's quest line so that I could give him the potion that Sullivus gave me. And after doing all that and gathering the magic scorpion charm from Sullivus, I could progress Ronnie's quest line to gain access to Fortisax and pick up the intelligence talisman. Now, to get into deep root depths, I'm going to go through Mini Moog and the sewers. I pick up Moog Shackle along the way to make my life a little easier. It's not awful damage. So can I just like outspace him? Is that something I can do? Maybe. It seems like he doesn't input read if you attack immediately oh okay i fucking lied ow Just keep on, keep on hitting him. Love to see it. I should probably play it safe, do one of these. I like that plan. Make sure I don't get one tapped at the end of his health bar. Oh, I did not have the space. All right, there we go. Oh, goodbye, sir. <laughs> you fucking staggered. Rude. Huh? My man. Bro, stop chasing me. I need space. Making me nervous. All right. Excellent. Fuck! Okay. No, come on. It's very annoying that they can just run through it. Cool. Okay, let's make sure we're full health. Because I'm pretty sure we were going to get vigor checked there. <laughs> Okay, wait for this to go. Let him pop that. How? Come on. Okay. Unfortunate that we can't poise through the lightning. That would that would have been nice if we could. We're good. We're chilling. 
okay, maybe maybe not <laughs> maybe not chilling too hard. Okay, let the lightning go. Good. There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna have to Briars of Sin this fight. Alright. Fuck. Oh my god. I got an input buffer, dude. I had inputted attack before I got hit. Okay, what are we doing? What's going on? What? What do you mean? Does that have time? Not really. This should though. Am I doing more? Oh, it's because I'm connecting with the head, I think. All right, that's what we like to see. Good. Okay, one more. All right. Okay. I rolled to you, dummy. I think Briars of Punishment might be more viable. All of it's being a pain in the ass. Fuck, I really wanted it to roll! Jesus Christ. Okay, do sin? Ow. Ow. Okay, let's back up. Here. Good. Love to see it. The back kick. Penis. All right. There we go. Okay, the third one didn't connect. Sag. Good. Get out of the moon. Kick her down slowly, bro. in a while we get a little little bit of hit you know that's all we need okay we just need one more that's all we need just need one more oh merry christmas we got right guard placidisex melania moog horaloo elden beast so let's fight Placidus X. Now, is there any shots? Oh, that's actually very surprising. I, I fully expected to just eat a lightning right there. Nice. Oh, we're having a good time with Placidus X. I'm not convinced this is enough blue, though. Very nice. Shit. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. 
Hey, bleed would be sick, by the way. If you want to give me one, Mr. Placidus X. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I'm screwed. Okay. Um, gonna try to not waste FP here. Go up and do that. Is this gonna be the teleport? No, okay. That's fine. I hope I have space. I think I do. Yeah, we got space. That was fucking scary. Merry Christmas. Now that I'm around 60 to 70 intelligence, the Carrion Regal Scepter becomes the best sorcery scaling available. So I use Renala's Remembrance and level up the staff to replace the Academy Glintstone. I gather both Halig Tree medallions. Shockingly, Commander Nile was actually quite easy with this build, which was definitely unexpected. And once in the Consecrated Snowfield, I gained access to the Graven Mass Talisman for an 8% buff to sorceries. Let's go clap Loretta. I did not mean to go for three. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Back roll. Is this going to be safe? Fuck no. <laughs> okay, let's go there. Okay. That should be safe. Do I have enough blue? If I'm a little bit more accurate, maybe. Nice. That was questionable. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go grab our last talisman. See what Melania has to say. You know, I I did hear someone say that this spell seemed quite good against Melania. Blood loss buildup, looking nice. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're chilling. We're good. Ah, there's the bleed. <laughs> okay, now phase two is obviously a bit of a different story. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, so I I guess this build has been hot shit for like the entire run. 
but I guess it this is just very easy against Melania <laughs> Jesus Christ all right maybe let's let's dodge the move next time how's that sound huh yeah way more blue than than I actually needed So unfortunate, dude. Oh no, man. Oh, let's go. One, two, three, four. I suppose if I really wanted to play it safe. Please stop running at me. You're scaring me. <laughs> nice. Actual damage window. Love to see it. Oh! Flesh be consumed. All right. All right. I'll go put something on that makes me live. Hopefully. I would like Scarlet Aonia, if you wouldn't mind, Melania. Get back on the damn ground. No, bro. Okay. Jesus. I don't understand. I don't know why she's doing that. Christ, Jesus. <laughs> oh no. One, two. Oh, Merry Christmas. Much harder than it should have been. Okay, uh, we got Moog, Orlu, Elden Beast, Rikard. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do Rikard. Let's do Horlu right now. Very nice. Good. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just going to dash forward. Is this like night sorceries where the enemies don't respond to it? Oh my God, it is. Now, before... Before we kill him... I want to fill up our FP. That way I can actually punish the opening. Okay. Is that not in range? Can I do two? No. I got lucky there, but I really can't count on that. It didn't even do the damage anyway. Oh, maybe here? Okay, not here. Okay, actually, maybe there. Damn. Not even on that move, I don't have time, huh? No jumps? Come on, do the jump. No, you want to. Oh, 
That's kind of nice. The jump first and then the roll. I'm not going to be able to do it here because I had to heal, but that's all right. Got lucky anyway. Very nice. All right, one more. Should be it. Sick. Let's go take on Moog now. Mine range. Yeah, I am now. Yeah, and unfortunately, Briars of Punishment isn't like too crazy long range. And then once he goes into phase two, I'm actually gonna have to like find real damage windows okay let's go there 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 damage window it, it is a little bit awkward to time it up correctly I should be able to get maybe two here okay let's go for the heal oh mistakes were made this seems just behind. Yeah, there's no way that's guaranteed. It worked, but it really was not supposed to. I mean, I'm pretty... I, I don't think I'm allowed to get hit anymore. I think I need all my remaining health. To deal damage. Yeah, okay. to see it. Is mine. Jesus Christ. There's such a jumble of inputs there. I'm just mixing them all up. Why? Why am I? Dude. That... Got plenty of resources. I just need to stop getting clapped by the this move. But here I over rotated. Bro, did they make the hitbox on it bigger? What is that? Where in the fuck did that? That is not where that's supposed to go. <laughs> you know, I don't trust it when we're over here. Okay, good. There it is. Okay. Let's see how this goes. 
Oh, fuck, this is the wrong spell. <laughs> Whoops. God damn it. God, Jesus Christ. I am lost. That's good damage. I wonder if I can get three. I might be able to safely get three. Hey, bud. There we go. Very nice. Damn. What am I doing? Jesus Christ. Have I just like forgotten how to play this video game? I, can I weave there? Yeah, yeah, I should be able to weave there. Okay, can't do three. <laughs> All right, I can definitely weave this, right? All right, sick. There we go. I think I want the extra damage now. I think that's preferable. Okay. His windows were just so much wider. I can maybe get three. Uncrouch! Fine. Oh boy. All right. Ow. The wall made it a bit sketchy, but we're good. We're chilling. Oh God, oh God. That move. Okay. Hello there, sunshine. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, big fella. I believe. This guy. There you go. No more running. No more. No more. It took four days. 16 hours. Way fucking harder than I thought it was going to be. We got it done. It definitely got much better towards the end. I mean, don't get me wrong. These spells suck. But they suck a whole lot less at the end. Once again, thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring this video. Download the game for free at the link in the description and get a free sign up bonus.